Just a few days ahead of the general elections in Greece, here are three points that may be helpful for you to understand the context in which these general elections are actually taking place in the country. Point one, the electoral system. This general election is taking place under the so-called simple proportional representation system. Under this system, uh, the parties that will receive at least 3% of the votes will share 285 seats in the parliament, 12 seats will be allocated to the so-called state deputies, and the remaining 3 out of a total of 300 seats in the Greek parliament will be filled by the ones who will be elected by the Greeks living abroad. This system doesn't leave much room for an absolute majority. So if uh, no party will actually gain this absolute majority, there are two basic scenarios. Either a coalition government that needs to be shaped, or a second general election will be called most probably on July the 2nd. If this indeed will be the case, then this second general election will take place under a different electoral system this time under the so-called enhanced proportional representation system. Under this system, the winning party gets a bonus of 20 seats in the parliament if they get above 25% of the votes. And this bonus actually gets bigger and bigger as the percentage becomes higher and higher. So it's a completely different um, circumstance if a general election is called. Point two. Historically, this may be the election with the biggest percentage of undecided voters. As we've experienced after the consecutive crisis, the ties between the voters and their political parties have become much more loose compared to the recent past that was dominated by a high concentration of committed voters to two major parties. This time, uh, more than 10%, some polls actually show, indicate 12 or even 15% of the voters will actually make up their minds at the last moment before the election. Point three, how the youth will express itself. This is the first time that the 70-year-olds 17 year olds will have the right to vote. Um, in total, almost half a million voters will be aged between 17 and 21. And this development is actually uh, coming at the crucial timing, just two months after the tragic train crash in Tembi that uh, led thousands of uh, especially young people on the streets of uh, the whole country to demonstrate and express their anger. How this anger will be expressed uh, in the election is indeed a crucial question. Last but not least, maybe I add a plus one point that is important for you to keep in mind. How the far right will be present in these elections. Almost three years after the court ruling uh, for the Golden Dawn that was convicted as a criminal organization, there are clear indications that uh, the extreme right is again present in the political system of Greece. According to the polls, parties belonging in this spectrum uh, may be getting up to 7% or 7.5%. So indeed, how the political landscape of Greece will look like the Monday after the election is indeed a key point.